My name is Alicia Rissling and I am a national team bobsled pilot. I um, attended University of Alberta on both a basketball and track and field scholarship. In my third year of basketball, they were actually recruiting some of the track team to go try out for the national bobsled team. I was extremely quick and uh, I was had the capabilities of being very strong. And I knew that was what you needed to be a good bobsled athlete. It's pretty much extreme tobogganing, which is right up my alley, so. <laughs> Playing university sports, I went, to, I went to a school where the girls had the same right to scholarships. We had the same per diem on the road. We stayed in the same hotels, traveled on the same flights. It was never, ever an issue that there was a, a difference between gender equality here. So I've never, ever, experienced inequality within sport until I got to bobsleigh and I got into it and the first thing I found out was girls weren't allowed to do two events we only were allowed to do one which <laughs> blew my mind when we first got into it. and I, I remember in my first year of driving I was like I can't wait to drive a four-man sled then I'm gonna do it and then I was lucky enough to be in a situation where I got to drive the first competitive sled internationally that had four women in it Obviously my dream is to be a great bobsledder at the Olympic Games and be standing on that podium. I've come too far to be willing to look back and be like, no, the reason why I didn't get there was financial needs. The Champions Fund helped me to purchase my new sled. These grants especially are very important because even being a female athlete, the sponsorship that is out there available, the percentage of men that are gonna be able to get that sponsorship over a woman is, is astounding. So to have one out there that just certifies that almost levels the playing field a little bit and really gives girls a better chance to have just a, a grant just for them. It's an investment in my future. <laughs>